All right, folks, here I go again with another gorgeous 2009 Ford Crown Victoria Police Interceptor Detective Unit from the city of Long Beach, California. Original Norsey Blue from Factory with 98,000 miles and only 274 idle hours. Folks, this vehicle is in immaculate running condition and shape. The paint looks super shiny, super sharp, and it does have a couple of scratches. And about maybe I'm gonna say three door dings, but nothing major to worry about. Vehicle has been completely serviced, detailed, and she is turnkey ready to go anywhere across the country. Once again, this is gonna be a California unit, so no rust on this bad boy whatsoever, okay? Let me stop right here. Window tint from that department that appears to be a 15% all around. Once again, this was done by that department, so I'm leaving it the way it is. Folks, let me tell you, you're gonna wanna stay with me on this unit. There's a lot of good pointers, a lot of good features that were done to the vehicle from the department that are gonna possibly interest you, okay? So let's keep walking. Let me backtrack right here, folks. Uh, I do have uh, one scratch right here. You can see that right there. On the rear left quarter panel, scratch right there, all right? Vehicle does have uh, one hole on the trunk lid where that actual black antenna is. That is the actual antenna, so if you need to uh, drive this car through an express car wash, um, that antenna is gonna stay put. It's not gonna go anywhere. Once again, this is gonna be a police interceptor detective package police interceptor detective package on this one this is not a crown victoria lex please do not get those uh, mistaken this is going to be a flex fuel okay e85 okay on this particular unit great looking car great looking car folks let me tell you folks before i forget the vehicle does have one big scratch on the rear right quarter panel you guys can see it right there all right i tried putting touch-up paint which matches the car i'm going to call my detail my detail crew back in so they can kind of color sand it and try to blend it in the scratch is not going to go away but we can probably at least hide it a little bit once again decent size uh scratch on the rear right quarter panel okay that was there from factory and there's nothing i can do about it but again, we're gonna try to hide it with my detail crew. They're gonna, they told me they're gonna go ahead and kind of sand it down a little bit and kind of blend it in with the with their machine. We'll see how much that that can be hidden away. But it's right there, just so you know. The rest of the car looks amazing, and uh, just so you guys know, I did get a price. Let's just say, let me backtrack here. If you wanted to get the quarter panel uh, fixed, we will need to shoot the quarter panel color blend the door so we're looking at 350 per panel to get that done to make sure that everything matches up and looks evenly no spotlights no spotlights ever installed on this vehicle on the front windshield I do have a nice uh, strip of uh, tint you can see that right there once again this came from the department so inside of the vehicle is nice and black just so you guys know okay once again that was done by the department i do have a nice new set of uh, oem headlights all right oh um brand new set of oem headlights on this vehicle the ones that came with the car they were yellowish and oxidated like always so i like to keep uh, <clears throat> at least three or four sets on hand so that i can use uh, these vehicles do come in and they are required so i do replace them there you go. One more thing before I forget, the vehicle does have a uh, new set of tires from the department. Once again, new set of tires from the department. I didn't have to put tires on this vehicle. Thankfully, I did not have to do that because they are getting expensive. So there you go.
great looking car fellas ladies and gentlemen great looking car here let's go inside and let me show you what we got to work with this is where it's going to start to get good guys let me tell you you're going to want to stay tuned here all right folks i do have a pristine new looking interior in this particular unit matching rear seat perfect carpeting floor with all four matching floor mats inside the vehicle rear door rear door locks and switches are in place so if you do have passengers they'll be able to exit out of the vehicle on their own with no issue whatsoever okay this is going to be a charlie 6 rear axle once again this is a long beach unit it's going to be a charlie 6 rear axle folks i can tell you that the front seats are also new all right folks whoever owned this vehicle whoever was assigned to this vehicle they wanted this car perfect so it does have new carpet with matching floor mats no tears on the carpet whatsoever both front seats are new super nice and comfortable vehicle does have working cruise control electric retractable pedal let's go inside Folks, this vehicle is super nice. No holes on the dash whatsoever. Vehicle does have a, a new uh, airbag switch. That's an airbag switch right there. That is not a button. Somebody made the mistake and pushed it in and broke it. So that, I, I do have a new switch right there for us. Before I forget, the vehicle is missing an ashtray assembly. I don't have one in stock. However, I did go on eBay and I purchased one with the matching color on eBay for $150 and it's in transit my way. So by the time this car sells, I will have that Ashtray in place and installed. Don't worry, I got you covered. Two keys, two keys with the car, okay? This is all I got, two keys. Working cruise control, did I already say that? I think I did, right? I already said it. All pressure lights up, 98,000 miles. Responsible, I'm responsible for 98, 97, 97 miles driven so far. 274 idle hours, folks. 274 idle hours. Speaker, a uh, correction stereo does work. Stereo does work. Hunk does work. Red LED, white LED. You got the uh, blackout option enabled on this one, so every time you open the doors, the courtesy light does turn on automatically. Map lights do work, so there you go, guys. Super nice feature. Air conditioner is nice and cold. I think, uh, no, I didn't say that. Nice and cold air conditioner. Uh, let's go to the back. Unit number, Long Beach unit number 17669. There you go. no holes on the headliner no crease no nothing folks this car is perfect i gave it a nine out of a ten if it wasn't for the scratch on the rear right quarter panel all right folks uh, this is the trunk right here oh my god i gotta step it up this is the trunk right here for us i do have a uh, new use a spare tire kit in this vehicle when i first got the car there was nothing in here so i gave you i'm giving you a new uh use matching spare tire and wheel floor jack floor jack to the right i'm sorry hold down pen inside the tire so everything is sturdy those two boxes right there you're probably wondering what those are those are the old goose stock the old headlights that i took out of this vehicle and i put them in there i mean you can do whatever you want with them they're they're trash pretty much but they're gonna stay in place let's get to the uh engine compartment and we can go ahead and walk through that real quick before my neighbors come out and i gotta move Rear looks nice and black. All right, folks, starting right to left. Brand new air filter, throttle body was cleaned out in service. Full synthetic 520 oil service. Full synthetic Merc on LV transmission fluid and filter by Motocraft was done in this vehicle. Air conditioner is nice and cold, so we didn't have to do anything on that. Battery appears to be new from that department. Okay, so this is new from that department. Um, electric fan shroud and module, I can tell that it already has been replaced by the, by the department. 
Don't worry folks, let me get in here. The car is nice and straight. It's got a clean, clear title. As usual, I like to get in between the condenser and the radiator and wash out whatever dust bunnies and dirt might be sitting in between the grooves there. Why do I do that? Because as the car is driving, I'm increasing airflow into the engine. It keeps the car running cooler, so, so does the fluid. They do start to run a little bit cooler with much airflow going through there. Vehicle is equipped with the blue fail safe silicone radiator hoses. Dry belt and tensioner appear to have been replaced already by the department, so I left that alone. Front and rear brakes and rotors are in new conditions from the department, so yes, new front brakes and rotors from the department, folks. The other thing that I did on this vehicle before I forget, I did replace the uh, fuel pump. And you're probably wondering why I replaced the fuel pump. Well, I was driving the vehicle pushing, you know, 70, 80 on the highway, and every time I gave it gas, the vehicle cut off on me doing right about right around 80. When a vehicle turns off for you once, it could be a coincidence. When it come, turns off on you twice, there is a problem. So there was a problem in the fuel pressure, okay? That told me that the fuel pump was going low, was going bad actually. And in cases like this, folks, it took me about two hours to figure it out because I was making sure that everything was connected, everything was communicating. And when I did a pressure test on the fuel pump, that's where the problem was. So guess what? You got a brand new Motocraft fuel pump with brand new Motocraft fuel filter. That is the right way to do business. All right, folks, the clock is ticking. I got to go. Thanks for staying with me for these 12 minutes. Folks, if you are interested in buying this vehicle, if you have any questions, comments, serious inquiries only, please do not hesitate to call me. You guys have yourself a great weekend out there. Please be safe. God bless and take care.